Well, the last time you saw this truck, it got beat within an inch of its life. And it's just been sitting in the backyard here with a flat tire and uh, the heater hose fitting is broke off. And I figure, well, the parts for Bumblebee are taking a long time to get in. So I'm like, might as well revive this truck. And as you can see, it's got a camper shell now. I found one and set it on there. So plan to go camping in this thing. But we're gonna throw these on, get rid of the ugly 20s with those 37s, and get some brand new mud tires on the stock wheels. So we're gonna get this thing dug out and hopefully the battery's still up. Sitting a while, let's see if it starts. Oh, yeah. Even got lights. It might hit that stump, we don't know yet. Shouldn't have to. Precision parking. Woo. Old turbo truck getting parted out. It lives on. Alright, I'm going to tell you right now that this video is going to be all over the place because the clip that you just saw where we got the truck from the back was a few days ago and uh, we got this giant like mid-70s built uh, like cattle guard, I guess you call it cattle guard or bull bar, but uh, it came off of a, like a 72 I think F550 dump truck. And uh, what, what we got here is a four-wheel drive 4L60 cross member off of another GMT 800. And I found out that it's the correct thickness here to go from here to here. And all we gotta do is trim some of it out. So we'll have a big flat piece across here. And we gotta cut the uh, mounts off the side, but these line up perfect here. So we'll be able to uh, just set it on there, get it where we want it, and then uh, weld it in place, and then take the flat stock we'll have from this and weld two more mounts to it right there. And we also have the uh, pieces on the side that we can do something else with. But uh, yeah, it's coming together. Still haven't fixed the uh, broke heater hose fitting, but we got a, a set of wheels and tires for it. But we'll check in and out on this as the uh, project progresses. Huh? You want me to film that for you? Nah. That's pretty good. It's got the cat eye shape back. Ish. So, better than what it was. I got the hood straightened out. So, now it's time to rebuild the front end. I got my replacement grill. Such a fits in there. How much smaller the wheel I've already. Oh wow. I had to get some more cutting wheels. <laughs> Probably. Oh yeah. 
Boom, it's starting to look like a truck again. I'm gonna work on this, get the headlights put back in. Got a lot of the mud and leaves cleaned out. Fender set and shape. He's cutting off the brackets on the side. So, we'll come back in a minute. Update time. Uh, guy went to go get some more supplies to finish that. Meanwhile, I got the headlights zip tied in. What's left of them anyways. That was from the original grill. That was for the other side, so it's flipped now. And uh, just to fill in the gap. But uh, yeah, I mean, she's solid. Got new, <laughs> new headlight bulbs. And uh, it's, it's what we call legal here in Arkansas. But uh, just on a side note, for anyone that thinks that they, you know, saw me destroying good parts, just know, like I said before, I part these things out for a living. Oh, there's a guy. Um, I did not destroy any good parts. Even these brand new headlights, like they were actual brand new headlights in this truck. They got broken shipping and all of the tabs were broke, so they were already zip tied in, which is probably why they came out so easily. So that's just for anyone who thinks I destroyed something good. And it's uh getting close. Next time it goes on the truck, we're gonna be welding it. Leave it till we're certain, you know. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna do the uh, bottom on that side and do the bottom on this side. Okay. I'll, I'll just let you do your thing and uh, I'll follow around. All right. On a side note here, check out this mullet. The mullet's coming back. I just, I, I get to sit back and relax now while he finishes it up. Now, I believe a semi truck is, I think 102 inches wide. And we just measured this because it did come off of a big truck. Not a semi necessarily, but like a giant old school dump truck. And it's 93 inches wide. Yeah, that's a, that's a beefy boy. But we may end up cutting the ends off there and then cutting here and then moving the whole side in, um, you know, somewhere in there just to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. 
as you can see, it's not perfectly, you know, made either. But um, it is centered. But keep in mind, I do have to drive this on Jeep trails and stuff, so I can't have the end sticking out because I'll whack trees and stuff. But we'll figure it out. It's better than nothing right now. So me and Guy are sitting here talking. I had a good point. So why chase women when you could build a badass bumper for your cat eye? Look at that. Sucker's aggressive. All right, we're back out here doing it again. Right now we're, we're making uh, brackets to strengthen it from flexing this way. So it's welded on the top. It's welded. But uh, but butted up to the uh, frame right there. And now it's got some strength going this way. And what we're probably going to do is do some type of brace from the uh, tube going here, going down onto the frame. So it, now it can't bend over like this. So it now can't bend in. It probably won't break off because it's on top of the frame. So we're just going to do something going down as well. All right, here's basically the finished product. And uh, I went ahead and welded some uh, more brackets going up and down there. It's really sturdy now. I mean, this thing is, <laughs> it's a hunk. And I went ahead and put my, I think it's a 40 foot beefy chain on there. Cause you know, probably be getting stuck and other people getting stuck. You never know when you might need a 40 foot chain, you know, my only concern is the headlights might need to upgrade the headlights or get some uh kc uh spot lamps or something and hide like right in here or something i probably will do that just for some fog lights because obviously the fog lights are gone on the truck now and like i said i still might trim the ends i think i probably will um, but for now it looks pretty cool and here's the wheels and tires that are going to go on the truck they're 20 inch wheels with brand new 35 by 12 and a half obviously 20s they're the ones that came off of harambe when i bought it and uh, i just been i had them stored in my uh, shop here but i gotta do the two back ones still and uh got the front ones all swapped on i decided not to put the center caps on um one because i like the spike lugs kind of makes the truck look you know keep the look going and two if i break a cv axle i can just easily just change it just pull the nut off and then pull the uh, bolts out of the axles, swap the axle. So that's my reason behind that. But now I got brand new tires. Um, they're almost the same size as those wore out uh, 37s. So not really losing any height, but gaining a bunch of tread. And the 37s that were bald rubbed just, just a smidge, even though I trimmed everything off of the truck. So that's the perfect fit. But, uh, We'll come back tomorrow and we will fix the heater hose fitting and put the mirror on it.